Green screen photography can be a really technical complex procedure. Having said that, it could also be quite simple. Firstly, it doesn't need to be green. Any solid colour with contrast will allow you to select the subjects in your photograph to transport them to something else. It's also really important to try and pick a good background, something that's going to suit. This was taken from Comic Con, where a lot of cosplayers were running around having a fantastic time, as were we taking their photographs. So with something like that, I wanted a, a psychotic background to put it on, as you can see. What you've got to be careful of when you're working with green screen is that you are getting every element using, you can use the magic wand tool in Photoshop, you can use the quick selector tool, I like quick selector, and that lets you pick just what you need and remove what you don't need from the photograph. Like I said, it doesn't need to be green. Any color that's contrasting against your subject will allow you to select it. Once it's selected, it's quite simply a matter of copying it onto a new layer and amending any of the lighting that you need or the exposure that you need so it blends nicely in with your background. At the end of the day, you want the background and the foreground to appear fairly seamless. But it is a lot of fun. You can take photos of yourself and put them in Egypt or put them in Paris. Have a bit of fun with green screen, have a bit of fun with Photoshop layers. A final thing to keep in mind when you're shooting a your green screen is to keep your subjects evenly and well lit. Keep it as uniform as possible. Any shadows that you have appearing on your green are going to make it a little bit harder for you to select that part of the image. If there is a little bit of shadow at the feet, it's okay to leave that in because at the end of the day, we want a level of three-dimensionality in our photograph. Thank you.